Romina Kapoor and today I'm going to be sharing 10 of my most favorite hairstyles of all time that are super easy to do and that are super cute. If you are new, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell so you get notified whenever I upload in the future. Also, I give you shout outs at the end of each video so once you're done turning on that bell, go to the comments and comment done and put your Instagram or musical username so I'm able to shout you out on my next video. One last thing before I start showing you all my favorite hairstyles, make sure you guys check me out on Instagram, on Musical.ly, and on Snapchat, which are all at Romina Kapoor, and they're also linked in the description. And now, let's start with the video. So this is the first hairstyle that I'm gonna be showing you today. First, make sure that your hair is brushed. So I picked a small chunk of my hair, sectioned it into three parts, and started braiding a plain braid. Now I started stretching it out. Make sure you pull your strands from outside and not from inside. And now I'm gonna do the same braid on the other side. Once you're done braiding both of your braids and stretching them out, pull all your hair back into a ponytail with the braids. I always pull out my baby hairs in the front to make the look messier and cuter. And this is the finished look! And now let's start with the second look of today. I begin with sectioning off similarly from both sides of my hair. And I make sure to get the rest of my hair out of my way. I take a small section of my hair and start Dutch braiding. Basically, Dutch braiding is braiding your hair inwards. So every time you pull a strand into the middle, you have to add more hair into that strand. Continue braiding that way all the way through. It is optional, but if you want to stretch out your braid, you can for sure do that. I always stretch out my braid, so this is how it looks. And now I'm going to do the same exact braid on the other side of my head. And once I have both of my braids, I pull them to the back of my head and tie them with a hair tie. And I make sure that they are secure. And now I take the rest of my hair out. And this is the finished look. Our next look consists of two Dutch braids again. I'm gonna start off with parting my hair in the middle. Just like in our previous hairstyle, I section my hair off and start Dutch braiding with adding small sections of hair into the strands. And I'm gonna continue braiding till the top of my head. Once I'm done, I'm gonna start stretching my braid out and secure it with a hair tie. And now I'm gonna be doing the same exact thing on the other side. From here on, I'm gonna just pull some baby hairs and I'm done. I love this hairstyle. And this hairstyle is for those who love doing huff up, huff down hairstyles. Here I'm just gonna push my hair to the side to start braiding. Here we're not going to be doing any French braids or Dutch braids. I'm going to just section off my hair and start braiding a plain braid. Now I'm going to switch to the other side, pick a random section and start braiding it the same exact way. Now I'm going to take half of my hair and pull it all back with the braids. Without securing it, I'm going to just start putting it in a bun. And now I'm going to make it messier and I'm done! This hairstyle is for those that love doing high ponytails, which is me. <laughs> so here I'm going to be doing a French braid. I'm just going to take a small chunk, section it into three and start braiding it. And every time I put a strand in the middle, I add hair to it. I'm going to continue braiding it this way till the top of my head. And once I'm done, I'm going to keep braiding my hair till the end and start stretching out by the strands and not by the edit hair to the strands. I quickly let go of the braid and pull all my hair into a high ponytail. 
safely secure it with a hair tie. Make sure you play around with the braids and with the rest of the hair around your face so it looks messy and cute. If you remember, we still have the rest of the braid! I'm just gonna make the braid tighter and secure it with a small hair tie. And we're done! And for the next hairstyle, we're gonna have this edgy look. After parting my hair to the right, I'm gonna section off my hair for the braid and take all the rest of the hair out of the way. Here we have another Dutch braid that we're gonna have to do. So I'm gonna section my hair into three exactly same parts and start braiding and adding hair every time I put a strand into the middle. Just like that. Basically, I'm gonna be braiding till I run out of adding hair. And once I'm done with the braid, I'm just gonna let go of the rest of my hair, pull the braid back, and find a section of the hair from the back of my head, and just tie that braid to that section. And here we go. And here we're gonna go back to two Dutch braids. <laughs> Here I'm gonna part my hair in the middle, take a small section, and start braiding a Dutch braid. But this time I'm gonna be only adding the hair from the top strand, but not the bottom strand. And I'm gonna continue braiding it to the top of my head. And now I'm gonna be stretching out only the bottom strands, again from the outside but not from the inside, so it looks better. And now I'm gonna braid a little more and secure it while I'm working on the other side of my head. Now once I have two of my braids, I release them from the pins and I pull them back into a ponytail. And this is the final result. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just realized that I totally skipped one of the hairstyles, so I'm doing only nine. So here are the easy twisted braids. I'm gonna start off by parting my hair in the middle all the way to the back of my head. Now I'm gonna take a small chunk of my hair, split it in half, and start twisting them. Once I'm done with one or two twists without adding hair, I'm going to start adding some hair from the bottom. Just like that. Twisting braids are actually way, way, way easier than French braids or Dutch braids. So for those who are looking for the alternative of French braids or Dutch braids, you should try this out and you will absolutely love it. And now I'm gonna just keep twisting and braiding till I reach the back of my head. To make this hairstyle a little messier, just like all the other hairstyles, I'm just gonna pull on my baby hairs and stretch out the braid, and there we have it. And now I'm gonna quickly finish the other half. And this is how these twisted braids turned out. I absolutely love it. And the last hairstyle of the whole video are these two beautiful Dutch braids. Now, I'm gonna part my hair in the middle and take a small chunk of the hair and start braiding a normal Dutch braid just like we did in previous hairstyles. And I'm going to be basically sectioning off in three parts, getting the strands into the middle by adding hair with them so it's gonna create this beautiful Dutch braid. But this time, I'm not gonna stop at the top of my head but I'm actually gonna go all the way down to the back of my head. Once I reach the back of my head, we don't stop there. We start stretching out the braid before we go on by braiding. Make sure to stretch it out as much as you can because that's what makes the braid look beautiful. Now braid it till the end and stretch it out. Now do the same thing on the other side and we got it. This is literally my most favorite hairstyle of 
all time and it just looks super cute, super flowy, super messy and perfect for spring, summer or any other time. So this is it for this video guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching it. So today's post notification shout out goes to Harira and Kay and this is her musically. Thank you so much Harira for turning my post notifications on. I love you so 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 much. Make sure you give this video a like, share it with all your friends, and comment which hairstyle was your favorite out of this whole video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye!